you at the protest today? Uh, for me, it's um, just about to show in the numbers now. You know, this is uh, war, if you want to call it that. And whatever they are proposing, you know, these are the people who are saying no. Um, unfortunately, it's probably not the numbers that you need when you look at the situation we find ourselves in. The fact that they're looking to the five-year-olds. All the data we have back from everything that we've seen so far proves that no five year should be taking it. So for me, it's like, you know, why is there not a million people here today? Well, there's multiple reasons. You know, you've got the war that's happening now. Um, or supposed war, whatever you want to say. Um, but, you know, that's engrossed a lot of people now. That's given them a reason to not talk about anymore because there's something more worthy of talking about. Um, and then you've also got people who are too comfortable now. You know, they booked an holiday this year to go away, even though they ain't had the jab, so they don't need to turn up. Football's on, you know, all them kind of things. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll always turn up to these things, always, because like I said, it's a showing of numbers. And there is a good amount here today. What do you reckon here, probably? Uh, I stood uh, for 10 minutes before okay. the line ended, yeah. uh, start to finish. Okay, so, so yeah, you know, there's thousands here. That is best, maybe, do you know what I mean? But yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's always a good day being around people who are on the same wavelength and, you know, because it gets draining. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's been a good day so far. And how do you feel about the... Uh... The, uh, the oh, well, they're not even are they? Um, we know what they're doing to the people around the world, you know. And this is why I'm out as well, you know. we still got to push forward. Everyone thinks is over now when we got to learn to live with it, as Doris says. And um, the problem is, is, you know, they're still implementing what we have said they should not be implementing, and that is putting these into people's arms. You know, you've only got to look at the evidence, the evidence right in front of you. You've seen it in football, you know, the football was dropping down left, right, and centre. You know, what's this going to do to five rounds? You know, so that's one of the main reasons I'm here today. Um, how do you feel about the cover up and lack of reporting on? Oh, well, it's criminal. It's criminal. You know, all the evidence there shows now, yeah, it was all planned. They all knew what was going on. And between the government and the mainstream media, they're terrorists. They've terrorised our people. You know, I see a woman today walking along with, like, you know, bags on her hands, you know. And this is now, you know, this is two years into it. Double up, you know, like, they've broken people mentally. And disgusting and these people should not be allowed to get away with what, what they've done and what they are still doing this is the thing like I said people think this is over it's far from over this is just the start of it we've got to hold these people accountable and not get sidetracked by other things that they're going to start throwing at us and there's a multitude of things that they're going to start throwing at us soon so and how do you feel about uh, mandates in companies and just in general yeah no ridiculous absolutely ridiculous you can't mandate a um, an experimental technology with inside the medical world is just ridiculous. <laughs> and how do you feel about how the mainstream media released uh, Boris's party gate? Uh, well, it was, again, it's all, it's, all, it's all for show, it's all for distraction, it's all smoke and mirrors, you know. At the end of the day, they knew that they were doing that a long time ago. It was the precision of when they release the information to keep people off of the main story, which is, you know, we've been lied to. There's a fraud playing out right across the world and they're killing people with these you know that is the main story everything else is uh is uh not applicable to me at the moment you know until this is sorted until this is you know shown in the spotlight until people are actually held accountable then i think you know the vast majority of people here feel the same as me we don't stop you know and how do you feel about the censorship during the subject or in the subject? <laughs> well, it's just it's just a tool that they use, isn't it, to stop the truth from getting out. You know, you can cut a man's tongue out, but that does not stop, you know, <laughs> the lies. And, that's, and, 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 and they have lied non-stop about this. Um, and they've censored so many people. This is, you know, I don't see how people don't see what's going on with just the censorship alone. You know, if you're stopping people from talking, then what, what, what are you so afraid of? And the answer is the truth.